Hey lovers, my name is Ehi and you're welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm sharing the easy way I make my silky poundo yam and I'll also be sharing how I plate my poundo yam. You can use this plating technique for any other type of swallow. So the first thing to note when you're making poundo yam or any other swallow that is made this way is you want to get the measurement of your water to the floor you know right so the ratio of water that i use to yam floor is two and a half cups of water to one and a half cups of poundo yam floor right that's what i use now what that measurement does for me is it you know allows the texture to just be right from the beginning as you can see texture is not too light it's not too thick it's just right you don't even need to start trying to add water at some point to loosen up the texture or trying to add some more flour to you know thicken the texture and all of that and um, i had to add a little bit of water here because i wanted it to cook through now some people when they add water they tend to cover the pot personally i don't cover the pot because like i said i've already gotten my texture right i just need this to cook through and i also need some of the water to evaporate whilst it's doing this because i've been stirring over heat and it has actually been cooking it's just for it to you know cook a bit more basically i know that poundo yam is you know one of the easiest swallows to make on like semo and the likes right but some people still find it difficult so i just thought to leave this here and to be honest if you can get this right you can also get you know the measurements for semo amala and the others right And that's it guys easy peasy your pound yam is ready in less than two minutes and it is silky and smooth now personally when i eat eh, i like to plate very well because like they say now i did chop first before belly chop so <laughs> i don't do this all the time but when i'm trying you know to serve visitors or friends i just try to you know be extra with all of this i have other plating techniques that i would use for swallows and all but this is like my fave so you want to get a nylon or a cellophane i don't know what this is actually called but i usually will call it a nylon so you want to get something like this and you want to wet the surface like open it up wet the surface then put your swallow in and flip over just like i did and then you want to roll it into like a thin square like kind of shape so i like to use this glass cup to do it simply because i have more control over it because i can use one hand to pin down the nylon so it doesn't move and then i can use the other hand to roll out but you can use a rolling pin right those kind of rolling pins that you use for chin chin meat pie and the likes yeah something like this so you can use a rolling pin or pretty much anything that is just you know you know circular that can go round and round you can use a bottle you can use cups you can use pretty much anything so you just want to roll it out like this until it is nice and flat once it is flat enough to your desired thickness you want to you know open up the nylon so this is the whole essence of wetting the nylon in the first place if you don't sprinkle some water over the surface um, when you're trying to open it at this point it sticks right and then your knife that you're using to cut off the edges too you want to also wet it so that it's easy for the edges to come off please guys don't throw these edges away oh, please don't throw them away at all they are very much edible all this is just for serere and fine food because now i did chop first before they let you up you get so you want to cut off the rough edges you can also mold this and you know re-roll or you know you can eat it like that behind the scene <laughs> and then you want to roll like this so as you roll you want to take off the nylon you roll and you want to take off the nylon you roll and you want to take off the nylon it is as simple as that if you are doing this for you know personal consumption you can use your hands just make sure that you wash your hands if you are doing this for not personal consumption please endeavor to wear gloves or also wash your hands but if you have long nails on like me i would just advise that you wear gloves if you are you know using it for commercial purpose and guys 
that's all easy fizzy our founder yam is ready now let's save As an overserving that I am, <laughs> I like to use a wet spoon to smoothen the surface. This is just extra razzmatazz. It doesn't really do, you know, anything to it. And that's that for that, guys. Our founder yam is very beautifully plated. Good thing about this plating technique is you can stand it up or you can, you know, you can do some extra ceremony with this. Let me know if this video was helpful and if you're going to try this sometime. Bye.